Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot. In today's video, we're going to be comparing SMTP services for WordPress. So SMTP is really important to set up for WordPress to make sure your emails are sending correctly from your website. Really important for WooCommerce and other plugins. We'll go through the most popular services so you can choose the right option for your project. Okay, so the SMTP services that we're going to be comparing today are SendInBlue, SendGrid, smtp.com, Mailgun, Elastic Email, and AWS, that is Amazon Simple Email Service. The reason we've chosen these companies in particular are because of the WP Mail SMTP plugin. This is by far the most standard plugin that we use for SMTP on WordPress, 2 million active installations. In the general settings for this plugin, we can see that we have uh, pre-configured setups for smtp.com, SendInBlue, Mailgun, and SendGrid. We also have some common email providers here, including SES, which is only in the pro version, uh, Microsoft Zoho, they're only in the pro version. Gmail does work in the free version. I have used it before. The setup is a bit clunky and honestly, it's not the best free solution and it's not the best premium solution. So I don't really highly recommend it, but you can go through and set this up if you're interested. I'll also just quickly mention that this plugin you can configure with other SMTP services. So if you're with a shared hosting provider like SiteGround or Hostinger, uh, a lot of these places will give you an SMTP service included with your hosting package. So you may not need an additional package. Just check your host and see if you get this included with your package. But for many of us using cloud hosting or setting up our own servers on things like DigitalOcean and Vulture and Linode, where these aren't included with your hosting, then this is going to be an interesting comparison between these. So I will start off with probably my favorite recommendation for beginners and those of you getting started with SMTP and that is sendinblue.com. They have the most generous free plan. So uh, $0 a month, 300 emails per day. So that's by far the most generous free plan. And I think the reason they give the most generous free plan is because this company is more aimed at uh, email automation, email marketing and customer relationship management. So it's really a full suite of customer relationship management tools. And it's not just a, a basic uh, SMTP plugin for WordPress. So I think by getting people to sign up for the free plan, it does get people familiar with their interface and people get used to it and they try out some of the premium features and they end up upgrading in the future. But I have been using a free package for some projects for um, several years now and I've never had to pay for it. So it's been a really great free option as well for those of you who just need to keep their budgets really tight. So check the link in the description if you want to get started with that free plan. And I have done a full tutorial as well. I'll link that in the description too. But this is really a nice one if you want to get started with SMTP in WordPress. Next one I'll talk about is SendGrid. Now that also has a free plan, just 100 emails per day compared to 300 on Send in Blue, but still a free plan is pretty good if you're just starting out and you need to spend $0 a month. Uh, but it does give you access to a few extra features. So it has some automation features that you can access in the free plan. If you're interested in doing some webhooks, for example, uh, you can do that for free on SendGrid. So that can be interesting for some of you who are doing some more uh, automation type projects. It's also worth noting that in terms of the fixed cost per month services, this is probably one of the cheaper ones. You can get around 50K, 50,000 emails per month for $14.95. So it's one of the cheaper ones. It's not the cheapest, but in terms of the features and the price, it's a pretty good price to performance ratio from SendGrid. SMTP.com is the next one we'll talk about. Now, this isn't the cheapest one per month or per email. $25 a month, 50K emails. I did notice that it is one of the recommended ones from WP Mail SMTP plugin. So it's one of the recommended ones. It's been around for a long time. They pride themselves on their uptime and reliability. So if you've got really business critical transactional emails that you need to make sure hit their target, then this one can be a good choice. And while they don't have a free plan, what they do have is a very generous free trial. So 30-day free trial, 50,000 emails included in the free trial. So if you've got an established website that needs uh, business critical transactional emails, then this could be a good one to test because they give you a very comprehensive free trial. So you can see if this is the right option for you. 
Next up in the comparison, we've got Mailgun. Mailgun is an interesting one because they have a flexible pricing when you're starting out, a pay as you grow option here, which ends up being 80 cents per thousand and you just pay as you go. So they do give you access to all the automation tools already in, in this plan. So it's quite a good option. And while it's not completely free, it does give you a three month free trial and you can do 5,000 free emails per month. So you can try this one out and see if it's right uh, this pay as you grow option is probably good until you get up to around 40 or 50,000 emails and then the this foundation plan starts being the better option. Again, like Send in Blue, this is more focused on email marketing and automation. It is less about being just a simple SMTP add-on for WordPress as it is about doing email marketing. If you're just looking for a cheap bulk email solution for SMTP, then Amazon SES is as cheap as it gets, 10 cents for a thousand emails. That's about as good as you can get. There is a little bit of extra cost per gigabyte of attachment, but that is a very, very low 12 cents a gigabyte. Emails are very small, so that's never really going to be a factor, I don't think. It's worth noting that Amazon SES is not included in WP Mail for the free version. But if you use Fluent SMTP, that's a newer plugin. It does give you Amazon SES in the free version. So that's no big deal. This is a good plugin as well. Probably just as good as, uh, as this one. It's just that WP Mail SMTP has been around for a long time and it's um, very standardized. Finally, I'll I mention Elastic Email. That's a very cheap one as well. And it's going to be of interest of those of you who are using Cloudways because Cloudways has an automatic integration with Elastic Email. So just 10 cents per 1,000 emails and they have their own setup tutorial over on Cloudways. So those of you f using Cloudways probably already aware of this. Now, just because you're on Cloudways doesn't mean you have to use this one. You can go ahead and use Free Send in Blue or Free Send Grid. That'll work just fine as well. Check my Cloudways tutorial where I actually use Send in Blue combined with Cloudways. So that's a free option, but for a premium option that just needs reliable SMTP emails and 300 a day is not enough, then just probably go with this. It's the easiest way to solve that issue. Okay. So just in conclusion, if we were to compare the basic entry-level plans of these different services, we see that um, Amazon SES and Elastic are the cheapest ones to go for as just basic SMTP add-ons for WordPress. If you want to get involved in some more automation type activity, newsletters and email marketing, those kind of things. Maybe check out Send in Blue, SendGrid. You can start on the free plans. Um, SMTP and Mailgun are obviously good options as well. I think SendGrid, uh, overall, that, that $14.95 is a pretty uh, competitive entry price as well as having a free plan. So that is pretty cool. That works out to $0.37 cents per thousand. Um, Send in Blue, considerably more expensive, but considerably more feature packed in terms of what its customer relationship management software does. I think if you're doing high ticket sales, this one could be the most, uh, the best in terms of its return on investment in that it gives you a lot of ways to convert leads into sales with, um, with its automation tools and its customer relationship tools. And like I said earlier, you can just use that free plan for as long as you want. I've been using it for a long time on some projects and it's been really good at 300 emails per day. So Send in Blue is probably my pick. For those of you getting started, just want a free option, just go with this one. For those of you on Cloudways who need higher bulk uh, sending capacity, Elastic Email would be what I'd go for. And for the rest of us who need bulk email, Amazon SES would be the one to go for. So that is the basic conclusion. So from here, you may want to check out a complete SMTP setup where I set up a WordPress site using Send in Blue. I'll put that tutorial right here. Grab that free plan from the description link as well. Really great way of getting started with the SMTP. If you need higher volume services, check out one of those other options too. Links in the description for all of those. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.